right now I am running Windows 11 Pro directly from an external USB drive on my Mac. This isn't Windows 2 Go. It's the full desktop version of Windows 11 Pro just like you would install on an internal drive. In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 11 Pro directly from your Mac onto an external drive and set it up for dual booting. In this method, we'll install Windows 11 on an external USB drive. However, you can also use the same method to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a separate partition of your Mac's internal hard drive. So without wasting the time, let's start the video. Please note, this method does not support a direct installation of Windows 11 as it will lead to an error. Therefore, we'll be beginning by installing Windows 10 and then upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11. First thing first, visit Microsoft official website and download the Windows 10 ISO file. After downloading Windows 10, download a free tool called Windows Install. This lightweight yet powerful app allows you to install Windows directly from macOS without creating a bootable USB drive. Make sure to download the latest version from its official website. Now that we have both the ISO file and the installation app, plug in your USB drive. For the best performance, use a fast SSD. However, any USB drive will work. Please note, this process will erase everything on the USB drive. So make sure to backup any important data before proceeding. When you're ready, open your Distributed app. From the View menu, select Show All Devices. In the left sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive and click on Erase button. Choose a name for your USB drive. In the Format drop-down menu, select XFAT and in the Scheme drop-down menu, select Git Partition Map. Everything is OK. Now hit the Erase button. After erasing, close the Digital T app. Now we are ready to install Windows 10. So go to your Downloads folder and open Windows Install app. Drag and drop the Windows 10 ISO file into the app. You will now see a list of Windows 10 editions. Find the index number of the version you want to install. For example, to install Windows 10 Pro, note its index number. In my case, it's 6. So I select index 6 here. Now we tell to software in which disk and partition it will install Windows 10. If you don't know your disk number, open this utility again, select your hard drive and from here you can note your disk number. In my case, it's disk 2 S2. So I select disk 2 S2 here. Next, we need to type our login password here. The same password which we use to log into our Mac. After that, click on install button. Now, sit back and relax. The installation is fully automatic and may take some time depending on your hardware. After some time, Windows 10 will install on your desired hard drive. Now you can close the software, but it's not done yet. Even though Windows 10 is now installed, we need the proper drivers to make everything run smoothly. For that, open your bootcamp app. 
from the action menu choose download windows support software and save it anywhere on your mac This may take a while depending on your internet speed. Once downloaded, copy the Windows support folder to your external USB drive. If you do not have NTFS write access on your Mac, you can either install NTFS software like Paragon or Texra or Save the Windows support folder to an other USB drive formatted as XFAT. Anyway, restart your Mac. As soon as you hear the startup sound, press and hold the option key. From the boot picker menu, select your USB drive. Please wait to initiate the process. After Windows 10 finishes setting up, navigate to Windows Support folder and run the setup to install all necessary drivers. Once complete, restart your Mac. After restarting, you will see that Windows 10 works smoothly on your Mac. After installing Windows 10, navigate to Microsoft website to download the latest version of Windows 11. Scroll down and select the option to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Here carefully choose the same language that you use for your Windows 10 installation. For example, if you install Windows 11 in US English, choose US English for Windows 11 as well. After that, proceed to download the Windows 11 ISO file from the next page. After downloading the Windows 11 ISO file, navigate to this GitHub page to download a small piece of software called Flyby11. This tool removes the restriction that prevent you from installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Scroll down and make sure to download the latest version of this software. After downloading the software, navigate to your downloads folder. Next, extract the flyby11 zip file. Once extracted, double click on the Flyby11. Next, click the Start Upgrade Now button. Now, we need to drag the Windows 11 ISO file into the Flyby11 window. Click OK and close the software. Your Windows 11 installation will begin shortly. Next, click on Change How Setup Downloads Update and choose Not Right Now, then click Next. On the next page, you will need to choose what you want to keep. If you want to keep your personal files only, select this option. If you perform a clean installation, choose this option. And if you want to keep your files, settings and apps, then select the first option.
finally click the install button to start the installation of windows 11 on your mac you may see an install windows server screen don't worry this won't install windows server on your system it will install windows 11 this installation process will take some time depending on your system configuration during this process your computer will restart several times which is normal so don't worry just sit back and relax after a while you will see that windows 11 has been successfully installed on your external usb drive as you can see everything is working as expected my boot cam is working fine and i can easily switch between mac os and windows 11 Additionally, if I go to the device manager, you can see that all my Windows 10 drivers are still installed and compatible with Windows 11. Now I can enjoy both Mac OS and Windows 11 on my Mac. So friends, if this video helped you, please show your support by liking and sharing it. For more Mac related videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.